So you think you want to play ball, huh? Do you have it in you? It takes a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of work. Ask yourself one question. Are you sure you want to hoop? A lot of times people see the, you know, accolades or the popularity that comes from being a student athlete. You know, they see them in the game, at game time, everybody's cheering for them. They're out there on the stage in front of everybody kind of performing, you know, and it looks really glamorous and fun. And it is fun, um, but they don't see the hard work that comes from, you know, the practice and all the hours that are put into doing that on the stage. You know, there, there are several hours that are spent, you know, after practice doing homework. Or, you know, when you're going for a game and you can't do an assignment or, you know, you have to basically put in kind of extra work in order to do it. But basically in this documentary, you're supposed to show you, give you a view behind the scenes a little bit of what goes into being that student athlete and the different responsibilities and standards that they're held to. So on our, vas on our varsity basketball team, if you had to pick just one person, who would you say is the leader of the team and why? Just your own perspective, who would you say the leader of the varsity basketball team is? I heard Chris, I heard Ty. Jerrell, that's Ty. That's Ty. Uh, that's Ty be going on. You know, he, oh, you know, you got to get Ty. Ty. Yes. Yep. And why? Yeah, go ahead. Because uh, I feel like I have like the most experience. So I use that to, I guess, coach my team on the court. And I'm the point guard, so I guess it's my job. Absolutely, I do, because they have a lot more support. Um, they have a mentor and their coach who has certain standards for their behavior and their academic achievement. So I do, I feel like athletes are held to a higher standard because of the support that they have. Yes, because students look up to athletes up, at, up here at the school. Student athlete was in class doing his work, paying attention, asking questions, and the other kids will do the same. So do you think student athletes should be held to a higher responsibility academically and behavioral? Yes, I do. And why? Because people see our faces more, meaning if we can be an athlete and a student, if student comes first. So you can't be getting in trouble, grades low, and the number of star player or star athlete and grades are low and you're, you're not. Help, you're not doing what you need to be doing and being and being in sports. Right. How do you think that would affect your team if you were like, you know, setting kind of a bad example, I guess, academically or behavior? Because if you're the number one player or athlete or whatever sport in whatever sports you do, they follow they might follow you right. and it might have an effect on your team or if you have to sit out or something, it may hurt your team. We don't run the track meets uh, our way, not their way. They want us to score seven. We're going to do it our way. Our way, our way, our way, all day. We do it our way, we win. We do it their way, we lose. Um, I feel like a coach has a big impact on the players simply because he is your coach. Um, what he says, what he says goes. So he's like your mom, basically, on the court. Uh, academics is the number one because without it, you can't play sports I mean, at the next level. It does a lot because I'm in the gym as much as I can. I don't go out a lot because I'm hooping or whatever. So it's a big part of my life. 
All right, so would you consider yourself a star on the basketball team? Uh, no, because I feel like I have people around me that have even more potential than I do. That's it. All right, so what advice do you have for a young athlete aspiring to play college ball? Uh, number one, keep your grades up. Um, do what you have to do in the classroom. Listen to your coaches and um, work hard at what you want to be. Thank <laughs> you.